Okay, we're here with Emily Noriega. Emily is in college uh, taking animation. Yes. And Emily, you grew up in San Antonio. And what high school did you graduate from? Uh, Brandeis High School. Brandeis. And uh, what are you taking in college again? Uh, I'm taking animation. I'm also an art minor. Okay, very good. And she has her own comic strip on the internet. And Emily, what advice would you give to the younger kids today? Um, I would tell them to just follow what they love, never let anyone tell them what they shouldn't do, what they want to do. Don't ever be afraid to branch out to do different things. And it's always fun to try out many things. You never know, you might find you might like something more than you like something else. And always never be afraid to work in groups, especially with people who like the same thing as you, because you'll be surprised by how creative you can get when you just collaborate and how your stories and your characters can just develop into these amazing things. It's just never forget that. So you're recommending they not only talk about writing with each other but also work on stories together? Is yeah. that what you're saying? It's a lot of fun. Even if it's shy, it's okay to be shy and it's okay to be a little bit afraid. But you'll be amazed by how when you get started talking about what you love, about how outspoken you can become especially with other people. Nice, nice. So um, you started writing and drawing at what at what age? Um, when I was in elementary school. Even okay. When I was barely five years old, I was making stories and notepads and stick figures. They were just people just messing around, but they were still stories. Nice. And you've done it pretty much continuously until now. You've never stopped. No. It's always been my passion just to make stories characters. Now would you consider uh, to be a good writer and animator? Do you th have to be to read a lot and, and see a lot of comics in order to to be good? I mean reading is important and so is looking at comics but ultimately it just depends on your creativity and what you think would make a good story or scenario. You know, it's all up at what you create in your mind. But you, you, I guess you, what you're saying is though reading others and seeing other comics give you ideas. It does. It helps a lot. Helps a lot. Awesome. Anything else you want to say? Um, just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> okay, I love it. And I love your comment earlier. You said, uh, be yourself and write what you love mm -hmm. and draw what you love. Awesome. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.